Hi there. My name is Jacqueline Asaridati. I'm a UI UX designer. I've been designing for a while now. In today's tutorial, we're going to design a very simple agency landing page. And we'll be using a Figma interactive component to make the design interactive. That's the main thing we're going to learn in today's video, Figma interactive components. So I hope by the end of this video, you know how to use interactive components in Figma. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create an ad board or a frame. So we'll do that by selecting the frame tool and then selecting the 1440 by 1024 frame or ad board. And the next thing is you create your grid as you can see me doing. To do that, you press the plus icon by the layout grid and then you set the settings to what I have there. Okay, so now we have our grid done. The next thing we're going to do is create a rectangle that's going to guide um, the design of our header our menu yeah so our header after that we're going to delete it it's just going to be used as a guide so you select the rectangle from your rectangular tool and then draw it on your ad board good the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a logo this is not a logo design class so we're going to use um, a placeholder logo so we'll find logo Ipsum right logo Ipsum has a website and a Figma plugin in this tutorial we'll be using the Figma plugin you right click select plugin and then select browse plugins in community then you search the plugin in the logo Ipsum plugin in the search bar it appears if you don't have it installed you just click the button and it, it installs it's, it takes less than a second to install so once you're done installing you come back to your figma file right click again go to plugins and find your plugin the logo Ipsum plugin you installed good so we're going to find our logo. Find, search, search, search. Okay, so there we have it. We find our logo. We just click. You just click on it, and then it appears on the dash, um, the art board or your frame. The next thing I'll do is I'll drag it out and drag it back in. The reason why I did that is because the logo wasn't already in my art board. I had to drag it back out. And then back in so that it would appear inside my dashboard adjust it a little yeah as you can see our logo has a text beside it so we'll be creating the text ourselves so you find a text tool on the menu bar or you just press T on your keyboard and type whatever it is you have to type Design purpose. We type, we will type design purpose. Good. Then we change the font. We change the font to Allegria Sans SC. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Sans SC. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we change the font weight to bold. And we increase the text size. Increase the font size. And now align it. Make sure that it's well aligned. And the space is good enough for us and then we'll group it 